I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com here in Boca Raton, Florida for REITWISE 2014. Joining me is Bob O'Brien, partner and U.S. and global real estate services leader with Deloitte & Touche. Bob, thanks so much for joining us. Matt, thanks for having me. Great to be here. I wanted to start by getting your take on the evolving nature of REITs and how companies have broadened what is considered real estate beyond you know, the core property types and, and what impact do you think these new entrants might have on the market? No, it's interesting, right? We've seen a whole series of alternative or non-traditional REITs uh, come to the market over the last few years. Areas like timber, cell towers, uh, data centers, uh, document management or storage companies. And what we've seen is that the, um, it's become a very efficient way to finance real estate or infrastructure in some cases. And investors have a great deal of interest in, in investing in it. Um, there's low correlation with those types of assets in the S&P 500, and even, in some cases, with the traditional REIT segments. And so uh, it has gotten traction. And people have uh, been very creative in some of the things they're bringing to market. Uh, and picking up on that, we've heard a lot of conversation about the tax reform proposals is there anything in there that, that could impact these sort of non-traditional REITs? Uh, there certainly is. Um, so the proposal that the House Ways and Means Committee has, has put forth uh, would limit the types of entities that could become REITs, um, limit it more tightly than exist today. Uh, they're defining real estate assets as assets that have depreciable lives of 27 and a half years or more. And some of these non-traditional REITs uh, likely would not qualify as proposed. Now, of course, M&A has been another hot topic in, in the REIT industry, particularly net lease. Well, what's your outlook on M&A, and are there any sectors that you think may become hot? No, interesting question, right, because we have seen um, some, I, I'd almost call it moderate activity in M&A, uh, certainly more activity in, in some subsectors. You mentioned net lease, industrial, uh, to some extent multifamily residential. But given the availability of capital, and um, some of the benefits of scale, we haven't seen the level of M&A activity that, that we would expect. Um, we've seen companies focused on, on their core strategies, their core portfolios, getting those rationalized. Actually, in recent months, we've seen more spin-offs than uh, announced M&A activity. But we're optimistic. I think we, you know, clearly the availability of capital, the benefits of scale, um, some well-established, successful management teams could bring some value in, in terms of doing M&A transactions. So we think we may see an uptick in M&A looking into 14. And, and lastly, Bob, I, I know you're a person who enjoys spotting emerging trends. What do you think is one maybe that's flying under the radar that, that could have a significant impact on the REIT market? I think what we're seeing is real estate enjoying the benefits of the next stage of technology. Uh, where we're seeing that is in a couple different areas. One is uh, business intelligence and data analytics. Um, the Deloitte will be talking about that here at this conference. We're seeing management teams um, drawing real insights and in valuable information out of their systems using some of these new tools that are available to them today. Uh, we've, we've seen them used successfully in other industries. Uh, we're doing some real creative work with some of the REITs around the country in terms of just giving them an opportunity to grab information out of their system and manage their businesses better. Uh, the other is around mobile technology. And what we're seeing is um, some really forward-looking REITs using mobile technology to more closely connect to their tenants as well as the customers and employees of those tenants. Um, we're doing some interesting projects in the, in the retail real estate area, in the office real estate area, which really, um, using mobile technology, helps transform uh, a REIT into um, managing their properties in the, in the new ways tenants use properties in this you know, technologically advanced environment. So some really interesting things there. Bob, thank you so much for joining us. Great. Thank you, Matt. Glad to be here. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.